Hey there, welcome to Izzo's Place. So, um, so you may have seen the short where I did the unboxing of this. Uh, Mrs. Izzo was kind enough to buy me a Stormtrooper decanter and um, whiskey glass set. Uh, so that's going to be my infinity bottle for down here in Florida. So uh, it's a 750 milliliter. So, you know, it's, it's, and normally I would do an infinity bottle in a regular size bottle. So, um, which would be 750 milliliter. Uh, not suitable for microwave or dishwasher use, hand wash only. So yeah, I did that. This is very interesting. So, be, oh, you know, let me show you the decanter, first of all. Oh boy, oh, here we go. Blends in. All right, so here's our decanter. Now the glass is not particularly thick. I do feel like if you stuck it in a dishwasher, you may break this. And I'm gonna have to be a little more careful uh, I'm, I'm, I just, we'll just be honest, I'm a little bit clumsy at times, um, so uh, I will be as careful as I can be with this. Looks like we still got a little bit of water in there. It's been a couple days since I tried it, but oh well, that's all right. But not enough to drip out. Ah, okay, that's okay. A little bit of water in the whiskey is not going to hurt anyway. Okay, so what is, first of all, what is an infinity bottle? If you haven't been watching the channel for that long, or if you uh, don't know a lot about whiskey collecting and the things those crazy people do. So what you're supposed to do with an infinity bottle is you're supposed to, as you, as you finish your bottles, when you get to that last pour, you pour it into your infinity bottle. And then technically you should always have, even if over the years it's only like atoms, you should always have a little bit of that bottle uh, up north. I started my infinity bottle in, um, well, I had two up north, one at the shop, one at home. And um, the one at the shop has, uh, I do it in my Weller 12 bottle. That was the first kind of fancy bottle that I got a chance to buy. Uh, I won the right to buy it in a bottle lottery at retail. Um, and so that's, that was, that's my fanciest bottle, or at least it was at the time. It might still be. And uh, so I turned that into my infinity bottle. So I'll always have just a little bit of that Weller 12 with me, no matter how many other things I add to the bottle. And um, and I've added quite a few things, and it's it honestly is pretty tasty. It's, it's one of my better tasting whiskeys there at the shop. Um, but, so what you're supposed to do is you're really supposed to wait till you're at the end of your bottle, and then you add in uh, your your last pour into the into the um, into the bottle. Uh, but what I do, um, I kind of cheat a little bit. Uh, so like when I, I just did the Thirsty Thursday long review for this Forrester pick and I, I did like a heavy pour and I, and I drank about half of it for the review. Very tasty. Um, so I poured it heavy on purpose and I'm going to pour the rest of this into this bottle to start my infinity bottle here. And I will um, up at the shop. I've got a list on a whiteboard of what's in that infinity bottle down here. Um, I don't have a whiteboard, so I will probably just start a note file in my phone. All right, so the only thing in my infinity bottle now is just that little bit of that old Forrester barrel pick. Um, what I do with the color here is. All right, so the infinity bottle is started now in my Stormtrooper, in my Stormtrooper decanter. Now, the other thing that came with it uh, are these fun glasses. So, Stormtrooper glasses. Of course, the glare makes it hard to see. It's, uh, what would I have to do to get rid of that glare? I would have to block the camera to get rid of the glare. So, none of that helps you. But, but hopefully you can see that they've got the Stormtrooper helmet modeled in there. Oh, you know what would help us is if I poured some some whiskey in there. So let's see, what should we drink now? Um, we'll just do this Rittenhouse Rye. It's just, it's just cool. The chair squeaked quite a bit. So Rittenhouse Rye, 100 proof rye whiskey. I have a, eventually we'll do, um, I've already got the neck pour of this filmed. So a couple weeks from now we'll do the long review of the Rittenhouse ride. Uh, I got it pretty cheap. 
25 bucks, but I think normally it's in the it's in the 30s. But here that'll that'll let you see the stormtrooper helmet a little bit better. I should probably just pour it. But then I'd have to pour it back into the bottle. Nah, that ain't happening. Um, but yeah, so the stormtrooper helmet's kind of floating there inside the glass. So this is a, an explanation of Infinity bottle and also apparently just a review of this glass. So let's see how... I'll have it face you while I sip it. So kind of a novelty glass. Not easily to drink, not easy to drink out of. It's not great for nosing. So yeah, this is just a novelty glass. Really would be hard to even put a piece of ice in this. But it is neat. I am a fan of Star Wars, so it is a perfect little gift from Mrs. Izzo to me. So you'll probably see these in future videos, but maybe not too often. And definitely not for the long reviews where I'm seriously trying to give you my opinions on the whiskey. Um, but that's it, my Infinity bottle has started. And you know what? Um, I'll probably transfer this. I'll sip a little bit of it, and then I'll transfer the transfer this to an easier to pour glass. And then I'll put this also into that bottle. And we'll have two whiskeys in my Infinity bottle, and it is, uh, you know, well started. And then down the road, after it gets quite a bit in it, then we'll go and taste it and see what it's like. But I'll tell you what, the one up north, that one tastes wonderful. So, um, so if you're into the whiskey collecting. Um, Definitely something to think about doing the Infinity Bottle. Oh, you know what? All right, so we're past the Infinity Bottle part. Uh, they're actually, for as cheaply made as this is, there is some neat stuff on this box. So let me go ahead and read for you. Uh, in 1976, prop maker Andrew Ainsworth of Shepperton Design Studios created the original Stormtrooper helmets and armor for the first movie. So the first movie, that would be 1977's A New Hope. These products, meaning this glass, are based on the original molds Andrew produced as close as it is possible to get to the original film props, except no compromises. <laughs> Impress your fellow clones and raise a toast to the Emperor with a few generous measures from the original Stormtrooper decanter, which can hold 750 milliliters of your favorite Dutch courage. So, I don't know, <laughs> made in China. I don't know, it's a very interesting box. Whiskey or brandy glass bottles. We got one piece, 750 milliliter, and uh, okay, each glass is uh, 150 milliliter if we fill that, that, that bad boy up. Now there is, it's gonna be hard to read. Where's my flashlight? So we got this helmet. So on the box, there's this helmet and the helmet is made out of words. So let's try to see what the words say. The Death Star. Power to destroy an entire it, it looks like it's bits and pieces from stuff. Princess Leia, Starship, Custodian of the Stolen Plans. Something in Restore Freedom to the Galaxy. So this sounds like it's probably taken from the original crawl from A New Hope. There's a pure spaceship striking from a hidden base. Victory against the evil galactic. Uh, spies managed to steal secret plans. So yeah, all, all this is taken from the original scrolls from the, uh, from the movie. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so very interesting. Um, I think I think she found it on Timu or whatever that that thing is called. So a neat little gift for your whiskey slash Star Wars connoisseur. All right, that's all I got for you on this little review of the decanter and of the Infinity bottle I'm turning it into. Thanks for hanging out at Izzo's place. Uh, if you're working, work safely. If you're drinking, drink responsibly. If you're, but do everything with a little bit of whiz, whimsy and you're gonna have a good time. I'll see you next time that you're hanging out at Izzo's place.